Welcome to Girl Talk. Thanks for joining us today. We're already having a lovely time here at Bella Domicile. And if you've never been, we're here in the showroom. It's a large showroom. We have to pick so our big. spot because there's so many mm -hmm. options. Mm -hmm. This one is a favorite though, I think. There's Classic. so many gadgets and stuff. Oop. Which I always <laughs> love to fool around with. Here here <laughs> Ellen, you just bought this new <laughs> <in> touch. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. It might have something to do with the chocolate chip cookies, though, right? Is that why we like I'll it never admit it. Yeah. <laughs> Coffee, chocolate chip yeah. cookies. I, it's funny that we're talking about chocolate chip cookies and how Janet wouldn't admit it because I was reading <laughs> Janet's bio the other day. What? at the gym, and I think the word cookie was mentioned four times in one short no bio. Way. No joke. I don't know who wrote that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll have to talk to them, have a strongly worded conversation. Uh -huh. um, so what are we talking about today with Bella? I'm excited to chat with these folks. I, I did get a little sneak peek with Abby. She's uh, the head guru here, it seems like. The head guru. Yeah, she just kind of knows what's going on. Uh, we're talking about cabinetry, and they have a nice layout of um, I guess I'm trying to remember what she called it, sort of beginner level or um, intro level, all the way up to the top of the line. Okay. So that covers... For every budget. For every budget, yes. And there are lots of little options you may not think about, and that's why they're the experts. They're going to tell us about some of those differences and, and how to pick and why they help or why they make a difference. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. All the way from design to finishes. So, so do you guys each have like a dream kitchen mapped out in your mind? Yes. <laughs> that was easy. I knew she was going to yeah, What do you have in mind? Well, you see, it would be have lots of light colors, it would be easy to clean, and there would be plenty of storage. That sounds my, like the trifecta. Yeah. Yeah, I think awesome. I like mm -hmm. the darker colors. Like, I love the dark cabinets and that look. That's what I have, mm -hmm. the dark. The dark? Yeah. I really like, I think I like the dark or the white. Mm -hmm. I like the white, yeah. I like Maybe the Maybe it's because I have dark, you know. Oh, the heart that wants be. what it doesn't have, right? Yeah. Right. It's, you have it's straight true. hair, you want curly and vice mm -hmm. versa. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about hair, we're talking about <laughs> cabinetry, but we're also <laughs> talking about some other great topics today. Uh, we're going to learn a little bit about a company called Integration Body Work, and I had the chance to catch up with Scott before today and learn a little bit myself. It's fascinating. You're going to want to learn about it because there's... We're talking really about holistic health care mm -hmm. is sort of the big picture and how he specifically, uh, this company specifically can help you if you're struggling with some pain management issues, maybe thinking you might need to have surgery, there might be another solution for you. So we're going to learn about that today. Awesome. Have you guys had massages before? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not, Not nearly really to enough. fix anything, but just like sometimes for my birthday, I'll just get one. Just it just feels so great. Yeah. yeah. You just always feel better when you leave. And supposedly it's really good for you, like releases toxins or something. I want to know why it doesn't work when you try it yourself. This right? just does yeah. not, it's not I happening. <laughs> Especially yeah. if you try to like rub your own feet. That's one where I'm like, no, somebody else needs to do this. Absolutely. <laughs> just picturing Ellen at home rubbing her own feet with her cat jumping on her. That's probably pretty this accurate. Is, you painted mm -hmm. this photo yeah. for me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, we need to move on. <laughs> yeah. Well, on a lighter note, we are talking about going braless this summer. So, <laughs> well, you, stick around for that. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually going to try it out. So, definitely. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not even going to tell you what it is. You're going to have to find out. So, I think that'll be a fun topic. Here's a tip: we have two Bellas in this episode. Ah, right? Ooh, mm, good teaser. All right. So yeah, we're going to have a fun day today, a fun summer. I'm excited about this whole season. We have some really great folks coming on our show this season, so I hope you stay with us all summer long, but uh, I think it'll be a really great show. Can't mm -hmm. wait. As always. Yeah. One of our friends is coming up after the break. Again, we're not telling you who, so stick around and we'll <laughs> tell you how to go braless after this. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are here at Bella Domicile today off of Nesbitt Road here in Madison, and we'll be chatting with them a little bit later on the show. But first, we have Zoe Schuler. She's the owner of Z Bella Boutique. It's a plus size boutique over in Middleton. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. And I'm excited to have you here because typically we're talking about what you see on the outside, clothing wise. And today we're gonna to talk about something you can wear under those clothes, is exactly. that right? Yes, that's right. So uh, today I brought Ruby Ribbon, it's a brand new line at the boutique. And the amazing thing about these camisoles are that you don't wear your bra with them. 
Hallelujah. I yes. Know. They're fantastic. How great is that, yeah. honestly? <laughs> Especially in the summertime, if you do have to wear a tank top anyways or shapewear, and then you're trying to layer a bra with that too, it just... Yeah, it these do it all. Gosh. No bra, it shapes the tummy, it stays put. It, I feel so cool wearing mine. It doesn't yeah. make me any warmer. Right. It's, it's been the perfect thing now that yes. it's getting warm out. We we've, have a little bit of a secret. Yeah. We're not wearing bras. We've got them on. <laughs> We're not. <laughs> we've actually got them on. And it's cool because they come in plus size and. They come in all sizes. 32 to 46. Exactly. So, um, and you mentioned that size. it's kind of like shapewear. That was the first thing I noticed when I put it on is it was kind of like a little suck in for my gut. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a little smoothing. They have a 360 degree stretch, so it's not oh. so much compression. It moves with you, yeah. it stays put, um, but, but you know, it helps your clothes drape a little nicer. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. what, that's what I mean. It's not uncomfortable by no. any means where you're like being pulled in, but it's just got a little bit of a firmness to it so that you're clothes fit nice and smooth right. so it's nice yeah. mm -hmm. I like that do something. they come in different support levels they or? do so there's a couple different options they have a full support which is for women with a C cup and larger and then their original which is a C cup or smaller and people can can try on both they even have a shorter length if they don't want the oh, shaping cute. in the tummy um, the great thing about them is they lift and separate both styles um, which yeah. you always need yeah exactly could you Fun almost too. do this as a sports bra then? Yeah, it I feels mean, it like could. that, except for you really don't have the uniboo, oh, mm -hmm. right? Like you get with a sports bra. <laughs> it's exactly. so sad that we know we that's a term now. <laughs> it is. <laughs> we're all familiar all with know the what uniboo. we're talking about right. when mm -hmm. you say that. Yeah. yeah. What a fun print though, too, so that you could let the strap show, or if you're wearing something, where maybe you would want to see the top of a. Tank oh top. yeah, they come sure. in a variety of colors and prints. They come in V-necks. Um, some with a little bit of lace or a little bit of sheer oh, panels. So. Well, and that's kind of in too, right? To have like the layering looks. So yeah. You could, you could put this under, a, I think was your point, put it under a tank top right. and have both materials show. and patterns showing. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like right. that idea. Very yeah. cute. I like too that I noticed when I put it on, it's got, I don't know what you would call this, Zoe. So there's a nice wide like gripper band along okay. the bottom. Um, it's wider than any other shape where I've seen, so it's really gonna stay in place against your skin. Even, they, they, they also sell panties to coordinate oh, with these. Cute. And even oh. those have it along the rear. So everything just stays where it's supposed to. You don't even feel it once it's on. Yeah, that's I a good love point. That. You wouldn't think about that until you put it on and started having that happen, but you, isn't that annoying when your tank top Oh my starts? gosh. Yeah, you don't have to tug Pulling down your tank top Pulling all day it down long. and yep. pulling it down mm -hmm. is the Absolutely. most annoying thing. Yeah. So can people come get this at the, the yeah, store? Yeah, so we have sample sizes. We can fit people at the store. Nice. Um, we have all sample sizes, 32 to 46. So anybody, you don't have to be plus size to shop Perfect. Um, this line. And then we can order any color, style, or size that a person needs. Um, and then the other great thing about this company is they offer benefits for customers. So a customer could host a trunk show either at the boutique or elsewhere and they get um, benefits based on what their friends purchase. Um, this month cool. they get double dollars basically. Right. They get 20% of all their sales they can put oh. towards so they can earn free ruby ribbon camis. So you can have a no bra party. You can yeah. have a no bra party. <laughs> Doesn't exactly. that sound great? So what's been the reaction to people trying these on in the dressing rooms? It's hilarious. <laughs> um, they're in the fitting rooms and you'll hear them say, oh, Oh my! <laughs> I mean, they're they're in shock, Ooh, and it feels around. great. And we have women that just want to wear them out. I mean, it, yeah. it feels so good to not have underwire on, yeah. just to toss your bra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's freeing. It yeah. really is. It's it wonderful. feels great, right. yeah. especially if you are if you maybe have a larger bust size and trying to find something that's gonna give you support but not feel constricted, I imagine that this is I've like a game changer. I've seen this work for bus sizes A to H. I mean, it's wow. it's seriously amazing, the support awesome. they offer. And you guys obviously have beautiful clothes as well. You guys do so much cool stuff. You've got a consignment pop-up plus size boutique coming. Yep, you guys do weekend. yoga. Mm -hmm. They do everything over there. <laughs> Again, Zoe Schuler, Z Bella Boutique. Thanks for being with us Thank today. You. Appreciate it. And we'll be back with more Girl Talk right after this. And welcome back to Girl Talk. We're filming today at Bella Domicile out in Fitchburg. We're going to learn about cabinetry today, drawers, finishes, things like that, what to look for, and get to see the, the whole range, um, the spectrum, I guess, budget-wise cool. as well. So that'll be Exciting. really interesting. But right now, would you like to move better, feel better, and live better? 
our next guest <laughs> is here to help you. This is Scott Robison, and he's with Integration Body Work. Thanks for joining us today, Scott. Thanks for having me. Scott is the owner and is a licensed massage therapist, so we're being extra nice to him today. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, who comes to see you for massage therapy? Sure. Uh, we see a lot of athletes. Um, I know Megan is, uh, was working out of a uh, CrossFit gym in Milwaukee for the last three years before she joined me. I've had my uh, CrossFit Level 1 certificate for the last six years, so that's a, really, that's a real area of specialization. But you know, we, we sponsor Leah Schneeberger, who's a professional mountain bike racer here in town, so we see a lot of cyclists. Um, a lot of athletes in different, of different sorts and, you know, professionals and small business owners who are serious about their health and wellness. Well, you're going to be extra busy with the CrossFit Games mm -hmm. coming, huh? That's the idea. <laughs> yeah, that's the hope. So it sounds like you're working with a lot of athletes and people mm -hmm. that are probably doing this regularly, but sure. is it ever too late for some people? What if they've had pain for a really long time? Can, yeah. can you make a difference? Sure, that's a great question. So if it's, if it's an issue that they're, they've never had addressed before, whether through chiropractic or massage or something else, absolutely. You know, we've had people who come in with pain and restricted movement for years and in a couple of sessions we can get them down to a pretty either no pain or a pretty manageable level. Wow. Wow. Um, if you've already had a lot of treatment or you're somebody for example who's had like you know eight hip surgeries plus gout plus rheumatoid arthritis plus all these other things you're talking about a chronic pain scenario mm -hmm. we can help you move better but in terms of actually resolving the pain you're, you're probably going to need to see somebody like a physical therapist for chronic pain management. So this is obviously girl talk mm -hmm. and I know a lot of us ladies I'm very guilty of this carrying my handbag on one shoulder mm -hmm. and I'll just have such a sore neck and shoulders from carrying that. Can you do things to help people with that sort of pain? Sure, for sure. So the first thing is, yes, we can definitely uh, do some work to uh, relieve the tension in that musculature, improve yeah. how that moves, but also it's um, it's a lot about how you carry your purse. Yeah. So first thing, take as much out of it as you can stand. Right? If you, I know. Oh, like, not the right answer. Tough. I know it's not the right answer. <laughs> you especially, don't get serious. And especially if you're a mom, right? You're like, yes, I have to have everything all the time, and that if you if you haven't used it in a month, you can probably yeah. take it out, right? See, I'm one of the people who like prepares for every situation, and I have it. Section right, often. and totally. the rest of us like that because yeah. then we can. Just, then we know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. The second thing, if you're, if you're, especially if you're unwilling to take stuff out, right, yeah. is carry it in as many different ways as you can. So hmm. over one shoulder, over the other shoulder, across your body. Just carry it down by your side. If you have teenagers that you want to embarrass, carry it overhead for a while, <laughs> right? As many different ways as you can carry it is the most effective way to reduce, right, that stress on the shoulder and neck. It's good tips. Yeah. Awesome. Scott, let's talk about um, actually getting the massage. I know I'm the kind of person that really likes a lot of pressure. I feel sure. like otherwise it's just like, oh, this is kind of nice, but it's not helping me. Right. Do you need to feel pain, I guess, in order for it to be effective? Yeah, definitely not. So what we understand now through uh, research on, on manual therapy and how it works is that there's no structural change taking place. We're not moving the blood around, we're not stretching fascia or tissue or anything like that. It's a hundred percent, well, almost exclusively a neurological response. So if you're like flapping an arm to right, take your attention away from your neck, or if you have to go find your Lamaze breathing techniques, like it's way too much, we need to back down. But it's up to you to tell us like what it feels like, because I don't know what it feels like inside your body. Right. Oh, interesting. Good yeah. to know, because yeah. it's the opposite of what a lot of people think. Right. So you must have some great success stories that you're really proud of. Yeah, let's see. Uh, the first one that comes to mind is uh, a healthcare professional I was working with recently. She had a lot of shoulder pain. You know, it was, it was job related, so she was really worried. She's young. You know, maybe mm -hmm. how am I going to make a career out of this? Mm -hmm. And it turns out we were able to get that down to a pretty manageable level, and I saw her again after just one session and that even wasn't her biggest issue anymore she had to she had something else we needed to work on so I was pretty pretty excited wow. about that for her all right cool. well Scott thank you it's been great talking to you wish we had more time this is mm -hmm. Scott Robison and he is with Integration Body Work they're on Hill Street which is over by Whole Foods on the west side awesome. we're at Belladonna Island we'll be right back Welcome back to Girl Talk. We've been having a great time and a great show here at Bella Domicile. And we've been filming in their showroom, which we've been in a kitchen. We've been promising you we're going to talk to you about some options for cabinets. And that's one of the great things about Bella Domicile is they're going to help you work within your budget and let you know what options are available. So mm -hmm. this is Dondi Zambet Falvi, lead designer here. And thanks for having us today. Thank you. Appreciate All it. All right. We've got a lot to talk about, so I want sure. to make sure we do that. But You've, this is actually a new area for you yes. that you've set up. Yep. And what we're showing here is some options with cabinets and drawers that you can have for, I suppose, any room in your house. Right. This is not a kitchen, uh, as you can tell, right? right? So 
This actually developed to answer clients' questions. You go in oh. somewhere, the cabinets can look great. So what's the difference? It's really what the guts of the cabinets are, are, are can make a big difference okay. in the project. And so this is set up so you can see inside if you will, inside sure. a cabinet, so gotcha. you kind of see what's going on. Not just what it looks like, but that's true. I mean, right. you're using the cabinet every day. This is one of your um, go-to items that you store things in, so you're going to want the inside to be functional and the, and the materials to work for you. And the way that this is set up is based on sort of some budget as well, Yeah, right? some budget and features. Um, okay, so let's walk through maybe yeah. from the beginning. So this is um, our, our basically starter line cabinet. It's a very great cabinet. Mm -hmm. So, but how they keep their price point attractive is they take a few drawers, because if you look at what's out there in the kitchen universe, uh, most kitchens are one of about five different door styles. So they take, I mean, who hasn't seen the basic shaker door? Right. Here's a basic raised panel door. Mm -hmm. um, this has a little bit of molding on it, and just very simple, nice transitional door. And yes. you see the colors are very popular, white. Right a little off white, gray. Um, so what they're doing to keep the price down is not making a thousand million options, but yet we still have some good opportunities A thousand here. million, one a of thousand my favorite million, numbers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. No, this is great. And then I, I'm guessing, but tell me how it works with the hardware now. So it, let's say I like this cabinet, but this hardware. Well, the jewelry of the, of the cabinet, the hardware, it's going to kind of that's where you get to kind of personalize it okay. a little bit. So we could put any hardware on any cabinet. Now, yeah. um, we may style-wise, we may not like a certain look, but yeah, that's how we kind of really make it personal to you. But if okay. you look, open up that first drawer on sure. that cabinet. Yeah. And if you open up this one, or I'll open up this one, you can uh -huh. see right away that this doesn't quite open all the way up. Oh, interesting. Okay, this okay. one. So full access here. Sometimes that may not, you may not want to pay for this option you could do this Something option. I never even thought yeah, about yeah. is, yeah, if your drawer doesn't open all the way, which I actually have a few of these at home that doesn't, and it does bug me. Yeah, okay, so there, there, you, go. there you go. Yeah. Um, Lesson just, learned. Just looking here, um, if we look at uh, this cabinet, yeah. maybe a little bit. So this cabinet, do you see how the box, you just see a box here. Sure. Uh, now let's go over to this one, see how there's kind of a frame oh, around it? Yeah, so this is sure. framed construction. This is frameless construction. I see. You get about 8% more storage space in a frameless cabinet. So that, it depends on what you like. Maybe you like the look of this and the storage doesn't matter. Maybe you want the storage. Yeah. So That's sometimes people are in a kitchen. We can't really expand their footprint anymore, but we could give them more storage space by going from a frame cabinet to a frameless cabinet. Isn't that interesting? Those little details that you might not think about. I now, certainly wouldn't. Now, how about this one? Maybe you don't want to have any hardware showing on your on your cabinet. Yeah, that's so a nice, pretty open, clean look. Open, okay. open that up. So do you see what's oh, wow. the way the cabinet is built? Is this is recessed? So when you move this open, oh, uh, you, you, I that you was just pull easy. the door. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure, nice and easy. Let me pull this one open again. So another difference is the thickness of the shelves. So anybody ever have a droop in their shelf? Mm -hmm. um, so the thickness of the shelves, the thickness of the case material is right. different. So if you're going to have a lot of heavy dishes, you might want something a little bit sturdier. Yeah. Or a wider cabinet. So you can choose, in this line, you can choose to have this or this. So if I you're see. in the a bathroom where you're not dealing with as many heavy things, you know, right. this may be fine. Kitchen. You Your Q-tips will probably be okay yeah. on yes. the thinner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. What about this? I just particularly like the look of this. Yeah. That's really pretty. That is a textured um, laminate, uh -huh. actually. So different. It is a frameless cabinet. Uh, so one thing we're pointing out here is some of these finishes don't go on the case all the time. or or. Or do you want them to be on the I case? See. So this is pretty much the same cabinet, uh -huh. but just look how much different. This is Sapile wood, which mm -hmm. is kind of a unique, um, neat texture there. So this one is actually laminate, which is, I would have never thought, if you would have asked me, mm -hmm. do I like laminate, I would say no. And but, now I look at it and I love it. But there's texture to sure, it. Right. Which you wouldn't, most people relate laminate to a countertop. Right, yeah. absolutely. See okay. the difference in the case material here? I do, here? Yep. Okay, so this is an engineered wood, this is plywood. Okay. So we talk to clients about what the pros and cons of that are. I see, okay. But you can actually see what the inside of the cabinet looks like. And 
we don't have a ton of time left, but what is what would be the, the reason you would go with a plywood versus an engineer? Plywood's a, a little sturdier product, but this cabinet has a lifetime warranty even with this material. Okay. They're, in fact, if you go to most European-made cabinets, mm -hmm. they actually advertise that their cabinets are 100% recycled material. That's what this is. Wow. Um, so okay. that's a engineered wood. People might think of it as particle board, but right. when it's put together at a certain pressure and temperature, it's actually furniture grade. That's what's used in the oh. cabinet. So there's and actually you can a feel a little greener maybe, yes, by doing yes. that as well. Well, that's okay. kind of the idea there. Yeah. Okay, um, we got a couple of things left to show yeah. off here. So basically, this is just a different line. We're showing different heights of cabinets. Sure, Some yeah. companies can make any height. Some can make any width. It has a lot to do usually with that soft close. Do too. they make their doors? Yes make their own doors. Here's another engineered or a, fa a frameless cabinet again. Wow. Just with more options. There's so much to think about and some other just sort of details and of course hardware showing off here. Yeah, you don't see a lot of this configuration. Two drawers right. and then a door below. Oh, a nice option. So big, your big stock pot can Well, this in is there. great that you have this set up. I mean, obviously we just covered one little space in a room and there's so many options and things to think yeah. about. So that's what's nice about coming here is uh, you guys obviously have the expertise of things, details that we wouldn't be able to think of Appreciate and come that. up with. So again, this is Dondi's I'm Butt Falvey, lead designer here at Bella Domicile. This is just a small piece of their big, beautiful showroom. I encourage you to come on in. It's a great spot. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all of our guests for joining us. We'll see you next time on Girl Talk.